Jan Sterling, a notable figure in classic Hollywood, has left an indelible mark on the world of entertainment. Reflecting on her body of work, one might ask which piece stands out most in your heart? Or can you recall the first time you encountered Jan Sterling's iconic talent on screen? Share your cherished memories or personal experiences in the comments below. We'd love to hear your stories. Stay tuned as we delve into some amusing, shocking, and poignant facts about this Hollywood stalwart. Keep watching for insights that might surprise you. And now, we invite you to share your own anecdotes. What's your most cherished memory related to this classic Hollywood actor? The comments section awaits your stories. Jan Sterling's filmography takes audiences on a captivating journey through classic Hollywood, showcasing remarkable talent. For those new to her work, diving into must-watch movies is a great starting point. One standout project is Ace in the Hole, a gripping drama directed by Billy Wilder. In this film, she delivers a compelling performance alongside Kirk Douglas, exploring the darker side of sensational journalism. Another noteworthy film is High School Confidential, a crime drama where Sterling shines in a supporting role, offering a glimpse into rebellious teenage culture of the 1950s. Fans of classic cinema should explore Caged, a gritty prison drama featuring her in a memorable role, providing a raw and intense portrayal of life behind bars. For a change of pace, Mystery Street offers a captivating blend of mystery and noir. Her role adds depth to this crime drama, making it a must-watch for enthusiasts of the genre. If you're looking for a classic western, The High and the Mighty is a compelling choice. Sterling's performance, alongside John Wayne, elevates this aviation-themed adventure. In summary, her filmography is rich with diverse roles, showcasing versatility as an actor. Ace and the Hole, High School Confidential, Caged, Mystery Street, and The High and the Mighty are essential viewing experiences. Jan Sterling's personal life was marked by both triumphs and tribulations. In the realm of relationships, she faced hardships that echoed the complexities portrayed in some of her on-screen characters. Sterling's journey through marriages carried its share of challenges, reflecting the turbulence often obscured by the glitz of Hollywood. While her professional life showcased a vibrant tapestry of roles, her personal life experienced its own ebb and flow. Sterling's marriages unfolded against a bustling backdrop, and her resilience in facing personal struggles paralleled the grit she brought to her acting career. The private battles she fought off-screen, away from the prying eyes of the public, added depth to the narrative of her life. Despite the multifaceted challenges, Sterling's commitment to her craft remained unwavering. Her ability to navigate personal tribulations and channel those experiences into her performances is a testament to her enduring prowess as a thespian. The intricate interplay between her personal and professional life, often unseen, painted a more nuanced portrait of this Hollywood stalwart. In the world of classic Hollywood, where glamour often overshadows the struggles, Jan Sterling's personal life serves as a reminder that even behind the scenes, resilience and tenacity play a crucial role. The complexities she faced in relationships and marriages hidden beneath the surface shaped her as a person and artist. Descendant of two American presidents, John Adams and John Quincy Adams, Jan Sterling maintained a connection to historical prominence. Notably, her son, Adams Douglas, born of her union with actor Paul Douglas, paid homage to this presidential ancestry through his given name. In a seldom-discussed anecdote from a game show pilot, Talking Pictures, she shared a peculiar twist of fate. Concluding dramatic studies in London, the decision to exchange a plane ticket originally meant for the ill-fated Hindenburg for a steamship passage was driven by the difference in cost. The reason? The funds allow Wood for the acquisition of lingerie, a choice credited with saving her life. Despite a 1955 Oscar nomination for a supporting role in The High, and the mighty, she was curiously omitted from the Academy's In Memoriam tribute during the 77th Annual Academy Awards. This oversight stands as a testament to the unpredictable turns in the recognition of talent within the entertainment industry. Her cinematic journey, as explored in the filmography, spans diverse roles showcasing acting versatility. From the gripping drama of Ace in the Hole to the crime drama of High School Confidential, she navigated through different genres, leaving an indelible mark on classic Hollywood. Notably, the performance in The High and The Mighty alongside John Wayne contributes to essential viewing experiences for classic cinema enthusiasts. 
In a personal life marked by both triumphs and tribulations, challenges in relationships mirrored the complexities depicted in on-screen characters. Resilience in confronting personal struggles paralleled the grit evident in the acting career. This nuanced interplay between private battles and professional accomplishments paints a more human portrait of this Hollywood stalwart. Her life, intricately woven with struggles hidden from public view, serves as a reminder that resilience and tenacity play crucial roles behind the scenes. Even amidst the glamour of classic Hollywood, where personal challenges often remain obscured, the journey underscores the significance of enduring strength. Jan Sterling spent a significant portion of her life residing in London, establishing a lasting friendship with the late Sam Wanamaker. Her connection with the city played a pivotal role in shaping her personal experiences. In 1968, she was honored with the inaugural Achievement Award from the Century Club, a group affiliated with the American Jewish Congress. This recognition highlighted her noteworthy contributions to radio and television programs, specifically for the Women's Conference of the Jewish Federation Council of Greater Los Angeles. Notably in Italy, her films were typically dubbed by Rosetta Calavetta, except for Union Station and High School Confidential, where she was dubbed by Dihia Cristiani and Michele Giustiniani, respectively. Her international experiences and recognition underscore the breadth of her impact in both Hollywood and beyond. These aspects provide a nuanced understanding of her journey and the diverse roles she played both on and off the screen. Jan Sterling's personal life was marked by significant events that added layers to her already intriguing narrative. In December 2003, tragedy struck when her son, Adams Douglas, succumbed to heart failure just three months before her own demise in 2004. The cruel proximity of their deaths paints a poignant picture of familial loss. The details surrounding Jan Sterling's birth are shrouded in a bit of ambiguity. While some sources cite 1921 as the year she entered the world, others insist it was 1923, creating a mild enigma around the actress's early years. In 1941, Jan found herself stepping into the shoes of actress Virginia Field in the Broadway musical Panama Hattie. This replacement occurred when Field left the show to marry actor Paul Douglas. Ironically, by 1950, the marriage between Douglas and Field had dissolved and Paul went on to marry Jan, solidifying an unexpected twist in their personal lives. Jan Sterling's life story is not without its share of peculiar twists. In a game show pilot called Talking Pictures, she revealed a fateful decision to exchange a plane ticket originally meant for the ill-fated Hindenburg for a steamship passage solely driven by cost considerations. The funds saved were then used to acquire lingerie, a seemingly mundane choice that unexpectedly played a pivotal role in saving her life. Despite a notable 1955 Oscar nomination for her supporting role in The High, and the mighty Jan Sterling faced an inexplicable omission from the Academy's In Memoriam tribute during the 77th Annual Academy Awards. This oversight serves as a stark reminder of the capricious nature of talent recognition within the entertainment industry. Jan Sterling's connection to historical prominence as a descendant of two American presidents, John Adams and John Quincy Adams, is a facet often overlooked. Her son, Adams Douglas, further paid homage to this presidential lineage through his given name. In her international experiences, particularly in Italy, Jan's films received unique treatment in terms of dubbing. Rosetta Calavetta typically lent her voice, except in instances like Union Station and High School Confidential where Dihia Cristiani and Michele Giustiniani took on the dubbing duties. Jan Sterling's life in London played a pivotal role in shaping her personal experiences, leading to a lasting friendship with the late Sam Wanamaker. In 1968, she earned recognition from the Century Club for her contributions to radio and television programs, particularly for the Women's Conference of the Jewish Federation Council of Greater Los Angeles. These diverse aspects provide a nuanced understanding of Jan Sterling's journey, showcasing the myriad roles she played both on and off the screen. Her life, marked by triumphs and tribulations, resonates as a testament to resilience and tenacity echoing behind the scenes of classic Hollywood.